another Zendler FBH. Now in this actual workshop, what I want to do is tackle a question that I kind of misread. I um, was uh, saw this post by Claire saying that she actually wanted to trigger a kind of thank you page, the welcome page. So I assumed that she wanted to trigger um, a redirect to a thank you page, which I did a video on. Um, it's in there. But what she actually wanted was she wanted an email to fire. So she wanted them to be redirected to a page um, and she wanted them to receive maybe an email. So I'm gonna show you how you can do that. Now the thing is with this, um, because automations aren't actually in, or email automations are not into the pop-up, we're going to have to um, use uh, funnels to start an automated trigger so that it fires an email off. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. It's pretty easy and we can basically do what we've already done to um, actually get that to work. So let's do this. Let's go to this form that we signed up for. And what we're gonna do is we're, instead of having this go from the, um, oh, I'm on the wrong page. Now, instead of it actually going through to a submit form, we're actually gonna send it, send the person into a funnel. So I'm gonna click edit and we're gonna edit this page and you're gonna see what I'm gonna do. So I've got to set up a funnel first, but the funnel really is only going to say thank you because that's going to be the end goal for the email to trigger. Okay, so uh, for our subscribe, uh, what we did before is we actually had this uh, going to a link and going to the quick start um, guide there. Uh, but we want to add them to a funnel um, so that an email fires off. So it's going to go to a thank you page, okay? But you can send them anywhere you want. You could keep them on the same page. If you don't have go to a link, you could just keep them on the same page. You can also tag them at this point. And you can also add them to a funnel. Or you can add them to an email list. But adding to a funnel would automate triggers to go. It doesn't matter what's in the funnel. It can just automate a trigger. So we're not actually going to go and do any pages for the funnel at all. We don't need to because all we're doing is using that when that in that funnel an email will fire to them and that's all you want to do now you could trigger more emails you could send a link to the funnel page if you wanted to it's really up to you um, but we give you that bet that ability to be able to add to a funnel so we need to set a funnel up quickly uh, it's not going to take very long because it's very simple so we're going to go into marketing funnels we're going to go create a funnel we're going to go lead magnet i'm just going to click next and we're going to come in here and we're going to call this um sign up trigger okay that's all I'm going to call it. No downloads, products to be launched, nothing, nothing, nothing. Click next. Okay, so it's asking us for a theme. It really doesn't matter because we're not really going to use the theme. So we're just going to click finish there. Um, that's going to give us our lead magnet funnel pages of which we don't really need any. You could use the thank you page there. I'm going to click delete this step, click OK. And we just got the thank you page. So I might go in there and edit the thank you page if you want to. So let me just go in there quickly, just do a quick little bit of editing to this funnel page. Because um, you might want them to go to that page. I don't know, you could you could redirect them to that page uh, on, that, um, on that trigger that we've got in here. So you could redirect them to this funnel page if you wanted to. But they're going to be registered into that funnel uh, anyway. So we've got something there, we're just gonna go, thank you for registering. Now, you, like I said, you can have them link into this if you want to, or you don't have to. It's really up to you. So in there, I'm gonna delete that out, don't need it. Don't need anything in here, because none of it is needed. We're not automating any sort of funnel process. We're just sending an email out using the automations, and that's all we're doing. So let's click this, very little, click save. Okay. So I'm not even going to SEO the page, nothing. So I'm going to now go back into automations and remember the name of our funnel is called sign up trigger. So I'm going to go into automations now and this is where the email will fire out so you can write what you like. So I'm going to get rid of a few of these because I don't need them. So I'm going to go straight into the edit action and I'm going to bin a few of these bits because I don't need them. It's just a simple email. We're going to come into here and this going to go, I'm going to recall this something else. Trigger, thank you. Okay. 
you can put whatever content you like inside here so I'm gonna go thank you you are registered with us put, put whatever you like um, I'm gonna get rid of all this information so I'm pressing control a deleting out and I'm gonna add my message thank you for signing up stay tuned for the latest news from us something like that okay so that's all I'm going to receive and that's it do 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 okay so as soon as they go into the funnel they're going to receive this because I've set it okay so that's all good you can preview it here and I do suggest that you test it as well so you can put any content you like in here you can also personalize it with whatever you like in there and you can personalize this now if you're not capturing their name or anything you're not going to have any personalization in there so you're just sending a general out saying thank you okay save that okay so this is now set up ready to go so I'm going to jump back into here now and I'm going to I'm probably going to need to refresh this page so I'm going to refresh the page by coming out of it let's come out of that as well uh, let's go and go back to my site oh, one last thing I need to do for the funnel I need to do one last thing I need to turn it on because I've paused it so I need to go into edit and I need to make it live there all right so that's live now okay let's go back to our site into our pages into here I'm going to come down to my page sign up page here and we're going to just add it to a funnel and by the way guys remember that if you need to if you want to send them to that thank you page you can just click into the funnel go to funnel steps and you can just grab that URL from there if you want to send them to that page that's what you can do you don't have to we're just going to send them to the page we've already got set up so I'm now going to go into pop up and where I've got this subscribe here I'm going to hit the little gear icon come into settings down here and I'm going to go add to funnel and there's our funnel there so I'm going to set up trigger okay good that's done so uh, now when they submit this form they're automatically going to go into the funnel okay now the redirect on the form is going to send them to our thank you page so not to the funnel page to so the thank you page and because they've actually been into the funnel now they'll receive an email so let's click save and test it out so as you can see I've got no leads in here at the moment it's just purely me in this site so we're going to go and test that page out so let's go in and let's click preview and I can actually don't have to click preview there I can just get rid of that end part and come to the page so bang it's popped up so I'm going to put my details in here let's just put David um, let's put test at the end and then let's put my email address in here um, and then I'll check my emails make sure I've received it I'm going to click subscribe and bang we're straight on to the thank you for signing up but we're part of the funnel let's go into the site now and have a look so I'm going to quickly refresh this and what you're going to see is we're in there as a lead now but let's have a go and have a look at the funnel so we're going to the funnel now and we look at the um, leads that we've got we're going to see under our leads that we've also got me in there so I've gone into a funnel so that means the funnel is going to automate now so if I now go into my email account you're going to see that email is in there and there we go guys so that is it we have our email been sent to us thank you registered with us then we've got our email in there and it's all good so that's how to do it so the power of funnels is not just for landing people in there and taking them through processes it's also just to land them into the funnel so you can fire out emails so this is the power of the funnels that we've got we do the video lead magnets you can make the steps as long as you like or you can just basically not even go to any of the funnel steps at all you can just use it as a way of automating your email process and getting signups onto your site or leads